Hello Ninja Nation, my name is Eric Hardy and I am the founder and co-creator of the Ninja Planner. And today I'm here with your weekly action tip. And what I wanna talk about is rocks and what I'm calling the attention economy, which relates to this. First of all, let's talk about rocks. Now, many of you have probably heard a decades old story, an analogy about a professor that walks into a classroom and steps an empty jar on a table and then proceeds to pull out five rocks and places those five rocks in the empty jar and that those rocks fill it right up to the rim. And the professor asks the students, hey, is this jar full now? They see the rocks up to the rim and they think, yeah, I think the jar is full. And so then the professor leans down below the table, pulls out a bag of pebbles and proceeds to pour those pebbles into the jar. And the pebbles shift and slide around the big rocks, but all the pebbles fit in and they come up right to the brim. The professor then asks the students again, hey, is this jar full? And the students say, well, it looks full, it's up to the top, but we're not exactly sure. And she, she next reaches down below, pulls out a bag of sand, pours the sand in, shakes the jar a bit, but all the sand eventually goes in, it comes up right to the brim. Now the students are thinking this jar is definitely full. But she then reaches below the desk, pulls out a glass of water and pours the water into the jar. All the water goes in, filling it right up to the top. And now the jar is full. Then the professor says, this jar is an analogy to your life. These different things represent different things in your life. The big rocks are the big important things like your family, your relationships, those things that are critical that you take care of. The gravel or the pebbles represent school, work, other major points in your life, but not nearly rising to the level of your big rocks. Finally, sand and water, are all those other little distractions that filter into your life and still take up space, but you don't necessarily control. So that's the analogy. So the critical thing here is you take care of your big rocks first and you put those in your jar first, meaning you schedule those first and take care of them in your, and, and the way you allocate your time. But now what shifted about this analogy in the last five years is we've transitioned into what's called the attention economy. And that's where this comes in. See this, the goal of this is through sound, notifications, pop-ups, all those different things, social media, all of those things are striving to become the big rocks in your life. They use technology to make everything feel like a big rock when in actuality it's not. So how do you combat this? The solution to this is what I call create a plan for your attention before there's demand for your attention. What that means is that you sit down ahead of time and plan out what are the big rocks in my life. You schedule those into your plan ahead of time, into your day, making sure that you have time for your family, for your relationships, all exercise those important things, your, your health in your life, you plan those first before you get into your day and have demands on your attention because once those demands come in, pebbles, sand, water, all those things will take over and fill all that space. So if your rocks, your big rocks aren't into your life first, then that space will get filled by other things. So critical element here is make a plan for your attention before there's demand for your attention and that is the way to combat the attention economy. Thank you, Ninja Nation. Have a great day.